So I have a strong silver ring here that I'm going to demonstrate a, a resize. Um, I've just cut it with my saw um, and then you can either lengthen it, put a spacer in it, or you can cut more material out to make it smaller. Um, I've just cut it and I'm going to weld it back together just to simulate. Um, so I have a sharp electrode for this, even for silver, just to start out. So I have my piece grounded. I'm at 19 watt seconds of energy. Um, I'm going to push the piece together. So you see the gap there, I push it together so that the pieces are contacting. Um, and then I simply do two or three welds. And this is just to hold the piece in place. You can see there's some blackening. I can just wipe that away. Um, that's just to temporarily tack it. Now what I like to do um, is go to the inside of the ring. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Go to the inside of the ring and simply do a few welds to, to bond the inside of the ring. Then what I like to do is take my electrode out and put a blunt electrode in. The reason I do this with silver is silver moves quite differently and so a blunt electrode is beneficial at higher energies so that I don't blow the metal out um, and create holes. So with my blunt electrode I will turn my energy up um, to permanently bond the ring. I'm going to go to 30 watt seconds to start um, and then I simply Go ahead and weld right on the joint. So, and then go to the side of the ring. Now there will be holes that are created. You can simply hit the hole again to fuse the metal from the surrounding area and pull it into the joint where the weld is happening. So now there's a, a little bit of necking down of the material um, where I'm welding. So I can bring my, my 24 gauge wire in again, same electrode, same energy, and just add material. And then once I have that material added, I can smooth it just by pushing and pulling the metal again. So a typical ring resize with the Orion um, can take as long or sometimes even longer than a resize that you would do with your torch. The advantage of doing it with the Orion is you do not have that solder joint. So you'll never have the discoloration that the solder joint can have, but you also have a stronger bond than the solder joint. You don't have that weak spot because we have a pure metal to metal weld that is all the way through. So after adding my material, um, I've built the area up to where I can file it and polish it down and have my finished ring resize. Now because we turned the energy up to about 30 watt seconds um, and then welded from outside and inside, um, I have a pure weld all the way through that uh, I can give to my customer. So with the ring resize as well as uh, not, having, um, not having the solder joint so we don't have the discoloration, we don't have uh, the weak solder joint, I don't have to uh, pickle it. I don't have to put it in the pickle pot and I have no fire scale on this because my heat affected zone uh, I, I don't have to use have the fire scale because I, my heat is only coming from here to here It doesn't get around to the stone, so I don't I don't have to deal with that anymore either